So today up on the bench, we have a spec above ground variable speed pump. And the reason that we're excited about this pump is this is the first above ground variable speed motor on the market. So today we're going to shoot the video. We're shooting it inside. This is coming out of Plastow, New Hampshire. So the current temperature is about four degrees outside. So we're just trying to show you the value of this rather than wait to spring. Uh, we'll cover how a variable speed pump works, what it does, and why it's of a value if you're an above ground pool owner. All right, so here we have the spec variable speed above ground pump, and right out of the box, it's ready for any pool setup. On the plug here, you're able to get it in your standard three prong, or in the twist lock style, which is common on most of the pools in this area here. On top of that, it's set up with a voltage sensing meter for either 115 or 230 volts, so however you have your electrical set up, you're ready to go right out of the box. In addition, the pump is already set up for either a vertical or horizontal discharge for your sand or your cartridge diatomaceous earth filters, and it's a very easy setup as all you're doing is switching the plug from one side to the other. In addition, it also comes with your standard barbed hose adapter fittings for use with a hose clamp, or your regular unioned hard PVC pipe connectors for a more official setup. Now we have the pump plugged in, and the first thing we're gonna do is turn it on, and it's gonna go through a two minute priming cycle at 1000 watts and 3500 RPMs. This is gonna get the pump up and ready to run on your pool. Okay, so the pump's primed now, and it's reverted to its factory preset number one, which is going to run at 100 watts and 1500 RPMs. This is the setting you're going to run the pump on indefinitely over the course of the summer, from Memorial Day to Labor Day, and this is going to save you hundreds over the course of the summer at a much lower wattage than you would find on a normal one or one and a half horsepower above ground pump. From here, there's two other factory preset settings that you can run for a couple different options. Factory preset number two, is gonna bump up to 450 watts and 2600 RPMs. This is perfect for when you're doing your weekly chlorine maintenance, adding balancing chemicals, or when people are using the pool. This one will run for a 24 hour cycle and then revert back to the factory one preset. The other option is gonna be factory preset number three. This one bumps us up to 1000 watts and 3500 RPMs. This one is gonna be for when you're vacuuming the pool or when you have the entire block over for your family pool party. This one runs for a two hour cycle and will then revert back to the factory preset number one. In addition, any of the factory presets can be set to your liking anywhere from 50 watts or 1000 RPMs to 1000 watts and 3500 RPMs. So you can customize it to your power and your flow rate needs. As we notice, this pump here is a Energy Star rated pump which if you talk to your local town, could qualify for any sort of rebates from the state. And as always, thanks for watching.